I was just taking my afternoon walk and had a download come through, so I'm gonna share it. Someone needs to hear this. You are not falling behind. You are not falling backwards. You're being slingshotted. You're being purified. You're going through an embodiment process to fully come into alignment with your soul's calling, your dharma, your values, your integrity, your self-respect. You're coming into your divine sovereignty and what appears right now potentially to you as a setback or like you're falling behind somehow is actually a shortcut because you're being primed and prepared and purified in order to move forward with your soul's calling and your dharma in only the way that it can unfold and that is you owning your divine greatness that's it this story is only gonna end with you owning your divinity and your divine greatness and that means purifying all the bullshit that you've bought into along the way so when you're going through this period of solitude or isolation and this metamorphosis, just know that it's all divinely guided. It's all divinely timed. You are not going backwards. What happens to the slingshot once, you know, this momentum has built and you let go? You're about to be catapulted forward beyond what you ever could have achieved or or accomplished, beyond whatever impact and beyond whatever level of abundance, beyond all of what you could have achieved otherwise, if you were just continuing to move forward, doing what you were doing, the way you were doing it, right? Because there was so much out of alignment. There was so much that still needed to be embodied there was still so much being created from lack consciousness or fear consciousness. And anything that's created from fear or lack will crumble. So the divine stepped in and what feels to you as falling backwards or a step backwards was actually a pause so that you could integrate those parts of yourself that are still in division that don't believe your full divine worthiness and it's not even a belief so that's a bad word it's fully remembering and knowing in your heart and in your and in your bones and in your dna that you are a divinely worthy being so any attempts to pursue your purpose or your mission which is something that's been so dear and close to your heart since you can remember that feels like it's been, that you've been falling backwards or that, that there's no progress or that you had to just like, at some point, just forget about all of it. And now it's gonna, it's gonna come back to you, right? It's gonna come back to you full force beyond what you ever could have imagined because this is not even something, something mentally that you can construct on this journey you're going to surrender to the unknown to trust in the divine that's orchestrating this whole thing releasing your egoic needs and wants and desires and there will come a moment when you'll be ready and you will be catapulted forward you are in preparation you are in purification you are doing deep alchemical processing because what you're here to create and what you're here to share and what you're here to, to, to share with the world by the light of your own example 
can only come from a pure place, a purified place, can only come from you being in your divine sovereignty and fully owning your innate worthiness. This is feminine magnetism. This is true feminine magnetism, right? This is activating the divine essence within you. So I don't know who needed to hear this, but you are not falling backwards. So stop comparing yourself to anybody else because that's like using this like measuring stick to try to compare. That's still ego. That's still like looking outside of yourself in the externalized world of form. This is a new game, a new playing field altogether that you're stepping into. You are a new paradigm leader. There's a lot of things hitting the fan right now. If you haven't noticed, there's a lot of things shifting. And you are a new paradigm leader if you're resonating with this. And the only thing that that will catapult you forward is you owning your divine greatness and your sovereignty and your worthiness and fully embodying that and coming from a place of true heart-centered unity consciousness. Not fear, not lack, not scarcity, not the egoic needs or demands that looks outside of yourself and says oh well I need this or this or this in order to feel good about myself or so and so has x y or z and so therefore I'm falling behind that's all bullshit that's all bullshit and you already know this so I'm just here as your gentle little reminder that you're going through a metamorphosis and you will emerge the butterfly you may already have like one wing out of the cocoon right you're in process you're in purification mode you're being prepared and you're about to be catapulted forward. So I hope this resonates with you. If it does, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.